You often hear the term road warrior applied to teams. Well, it fits for Utah. They pick up another five set victory on the road, this time at Bowler Gymnasium in Pullman, Washington over Washington State. 15-9 in the fifth, and it was a first set from Utah that was exceptional, but Washington State would come back. They did, they bounced back, they got their rhythm back, passing better, opening up the court, running the middles. Claire Martin, great blocking, great attacking tonight. Kyra Holt would have them in transition, scoring points through the she, next two sets. She did, front row, back row, she was all over the place. She played so well and led this team like she always does. Well, it seemed like in set four, Utah might fade away, but Adora and I rose to the occasion. Again, struggled to start off the match, but she really turned things around, had four points in a row at one point, getting up there and hammering that ball, past the block, chiseling the block, tipping it over. She was on fire. That was the one to win it at the end. Anai finishes with 18 kills. She had one kill after the first set was hitting negative 400 turned it all the way around into the stats you see there on the other side Kyra Holt 21 kills also struggled early but it wasn't quite enough for Washington State both players tough mentally because if you're struggling like that to start off it can be very hard to turn around but they were patient they came back out and led their teams very impressive mentality from both players Utah faces off with the Oregon schools coming up next, and Washington State travels to the desert. They'll be in action on Wednesday, trying to end a three-match skid. Utah looking like they may, may be among the elite in the Pac-12 in 2016.